Gay Pride Special! Hey Linda, um, welcome to do Linda Day something. I don't know, it's Gay Pride Parade today and I just woke up because I actually have to leave in 15 minutes and I haven't showered. Um, don't know what I'm going to wear, don't know how I'm going to do my hair, don't know what I'm going to do with anything. This is the state of my room. And there's even a fly in here, which just at, at tops off the atmosphere of a dump, kind of. Okay, so I have to find something to wear and all this. Hey Linda, I just got a shower and I'm using my hair to hide how horrible my face is because I need such a blank palette to be able to do my Gay Pride makeup. Hey Linda, I'm just heading off to Gay Pride now. I'm 20 minutes late. I'm on 20 minutes late to meet John Cutler and he said he'd be but It's bad if he's later than me because I'm in desperate need of an inhaler and mine ran out. My outfit is not only probably the least flamboyant outfit I've worn to the Gay Pride but probably the least flamboyant outfit I've actually worn all week. Um, I'll show you. I'm wearing my Godfather t-shirt because it is good arm coverage for a t-shirt and I'm too cool for sun cream. I've also, I found, I found my whistle. I'm wearing this dress, you know, you, know, you like that? I'm wearing a pair of, and I'm wearing a pair of tights that I know are ripped and could ladder any second and my secondary, my secondary school booties. Oh, sorry, I'm finding hard to read. Okay, hey Linda, stress of my life. Um, I'm just waiting at the bus you're about to see. So you're about to see panicked, panicked on a bus, gay pride makeup. I love not looking shiny. Okay, I'm gonna full on coat my eyes with white eyeliner because white eyeliner makes eyeshadow stick better, come out more vibrant. It's a blessing. Okay, the 130 is already on Talbot Street now, so I'm gonna have to get off in a second. And this is how far as I got just white eyeliner. Um, but I have decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it explosion of color. Hey Linda. I'm here at one of my favourite hideouts in town. This is the Bay Dressing Room in Cleary's. If I'm ever waiting for someone at the Spire and I know they're going to be late, this is where you'll find me. Glitter. All done for now. Hey Linda, I'm just in Hickey's and we're after buying ribbons and we're just going to tie them on with the scissors we borrowed off the Hickey's people. Hey Linda, now I'm sitting outside the Garden of Remembrance with John Cutler and uh, we've put ribbons on our scooters like so. Uh, yeah, they don't look that great. Vaseline to keep your lips healthy. Uh, Aoife Brady, MAC, Dame Edna lipstick. Even when you've got this much going on, you still need your eyes to be defined. They are the window to your soul. I am an absolute disgrace when it comes to false eyelashes. I am the worst person in the world at them, I assume. Maybe if they look like they're on, just stop rolling. Okay, that'll do. Hey, this is to please Aoife. And even in the end of the day, you still need a bit of anti shine. Yeah! Thank you, Evelyn, and I'm here at the Gay Pride Parade about to interview Eva Kelly and Co. Eva Kelly, tell me how you're doing. I'm doing good. And Co? We're doing good. Yay! Brilliant. Now tell me, what's going on in your life? Justin? Unemployment. <laughs> I got a new haircut. That's about it. And here's a good story. I didn't go to Berlin because Sinead lost her passport. And on the morning we were supposed to go to Berlin for gay pride, Sinead was like, no passport. So we didn't go. But I saw Berlin pictures. Where were you? It's called Berlin. We actually went to Belfast. No way. <laughs> anyway, Eva, tell us. Give us something juicy. What is the goss? That's the goss. No, what's the goss? Dirty goss. Who's having sex with who? Me and Michelle had sex last night. It's good. I sure got her nipples on.
Now that we've had our crazy out of order, what was the goss? Oh yes, someone, who, a male who came with us to the gay pride parade today had a hickey from a certain other person. I had a dream last night that Fiona eats human fingers and she gave me one without telling me that it was a human finger and I vomited everywhere. I love you, Linda. Bye. I just don't have any second thoughts.